Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Lifey. I'm Carissa, and today we're going to be talking about 10 things that we don't love too much about Salt Lake City. Number one, Salt Lake City is super crowded. We all know that two's a party, three's a crowd, but three million? That's just too many people. While it's cool and all that Salt Lake City has the fourth fastest growth rate in the country, our survey participants said that sharing your home city with three million of your closest friends can be a bit overwhelming sometimes. Number two, housing. It's super expensive. And we're just taking a guess here, but it's probably because of the living with three million of your closest friends thing. The supply and demand issue that this has caused, well guys, it's an issue. Home values have increased 10% in the past year and they're predicted to increase another 5% in this coming year. Number three, there's no lottery in the state of Utah. Are you kidding me? I don't even know what to say except good luck affording housing, you guys. On a more serious note, if you have a pension for gambling, Salt Lake City probably isn't the place for you. You guys wanna know what really bugs people who live in Salt Lake City? Number four, the misconceptions of their hometown held by the rest of the nation. If you ask anyone who lives outside of Utah, they're probably going to tell you that Salt Lake is home to snooty Mormons who look down on people with beliefs different than them. Real talk though, Salt Lake City residents pride themselves on being some of the friendliest neighbors on earth. They enjoy a city full of diverse views, ethnicities, religious backgrounds. Number five, extreme weather. Like, it's kind of freezing! And it's a desert, which doesn't even seem fair that we have to put up with both. Summer temperatures can go as high as 115 degrees, and winter temperatures can go as low as the low 20s with tons of snow. We'll let you in on a little secret. Winters were very scientifically reported by citydata.com as being too long. Honestly, the summers probably are too. Basically just the whole year. Number six, air pollution. Salt Lake City is a large metropolis located in a valley surrounded by beautiful mountains. Seems really nice, right? Yeah, not if you're trying to breathe. The whole big city in a valley thing is really nice for your weekend getaways. Not so good for your day-to-day -day attempts on breathing. The air pollution loves to build up and it's trapped in by air pressure and the surrounding mountains. It creates a visible smog as you drive from point A to point B given that point B is Salt Lake City. Number seven, parking. One thing you might have noticed about cities in Utah is that if there isn't a problem with bad driving, there's a problem with parking. Good news about Salt Lake City is there doesn't seem to be too many bad drivers. Bad news, the parking is pretty awful. While parking in Salt Lake is more agreeable than some cities in Utah, the huge population makes for a low supply. Number eight, Eternal construction. Salt Lake City is construction's equivalent of overdoing it. The roads in Salt Lake are actually pretty good, so why the city is spending loads of money and drivers limited amounts of patience by tearing up roads and redoing them, whether they seem to need it or not, we don't know. Number nine, traffic. Nothing pairs better with unending construction than unending traffic, am I right? When trying to travel anywhere in the evening, TomTom.com, it's kind of fun, reports that it's going to take 43% longer to get anywhere you're trying to go. That's not very fun. And it's going to take over 20% longer to get to your destination during the morning traffic. Number 10, the Great Salt Lake is a huge disappointment. While researching what upset residents the most about their city, we found out that pretty much all of them were disappointed for how landlocked they feel in Salt Lake. The city's name in general might lead to believe you that you'll have all sorts of opportunities for fun water sports in the city's Great Salt Lake that it was named after. But upon arriving, you'll find that the lake is too full of salt to do much other than just float in. One local reported that while it's cool to be able to float so easily in the lake, Every handful of water is full of tiny crabs and smells like it just came out of an episode of The Dirtiest Jobs. And just because we love you guys, we'll throw in a number 11. Salt Lake City is responsible for the world's highest jello consumption per capita. 
that's just gross, guys. Well, we're done roasting Salt Lake for today, so uh, if you like this video, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, tell us why below, but either way, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.